can find porridge stalls all over Singapore, but it's much harder to find stalls that still use charcoal to cook their porridge. This stall, situated at the junction between Tiongpo Road and Eng Wat Street, is one such stall that has preserved this tradition for the past 30 years. Call the boss of this stall, Che Chi Chang, a traditional man. But over the years, he's insisted on using charcoal to cook porridge, a method passed down by his wife's uncle. The former boss decided to retire about nine years ago, and Mr. Che, who had been helping him out, decided to take over the business. Their specialties are the Cantonese pork porridge and yisheng. We know the inconveniences of using charcoal to cook now that there are modern gas stoves. So why insist on using charcoal to cook porridge? Mr. Cher says it's very important to use fresh ingredients to cook the porridge. They also insist on personalized service. The ingredients are added and cooked according to customer's fancy. In other words, you can have a mixture of pork, fish maw, and even fish skin. This way, each bowl of porridge will have its own unique taste. So what are some of the strange requests from the customers? Porridge might seem like a simple dish to many, but it requires hours of preparation and loads of hard work. While most people are still in bed at 4 a.m. in the morning, the boss and his wife are already at the stall, getting the ingredients ready. All the work here is done manually. They buy their ingredients fresh from the market every day. As for the rice, it has to be soaked overnight. This is to allow the dry grains to absorb water and become softer. The next morning, they'll use boiling water to cook the rice for another hour. This way, the porridge will be smoother. Mr. Cher has just let us in on a useful tip. He says by placing the fish under crushed ice for a whole day, you can get rid of the fishy smell. That's why the Yushan always tastes so fresh and sweet. All this hard work is to ensure that they open on time at 7.15 every morning. Some eager beavers come as early as 6.30 a.m. to avoid the long queue, which sometimes takes about a few hours. Ask the porridge sellers what goes into a bowl of delicious porridge. Most of them will tell you it's the quality of the rice grains they use. Indeed, there are many different kinds of rice, and the rice grains come in different shapes and sizes. Some are long, others are short. Longer grains contain less starch and remain separate during cooking. Short grains, on the other hand, contain more starch and become gluey when cooked, which is why short grains are used to make sushi and eaten as a staple in Japan and Korea. Fragrant or jasmine rice is the most common type of rice found in Singapore. It's a premium rice that exudes a delectable fragrance when freshly cooked. The experts shed some light on the kind of rice grains that are most suitable for cooking porridge. According to the rice importer we interviewed, Singapore imports about 70 to 80 percent of white fragrant rice from Thailand. The other 20 percent of rice imports come from Australia, the United States, Vietnam, and Myanmar. who sell Cantonese porridge prefer to buy rice that's imported from Australia and the United States because the rice is stickier when cooked. 
When it comes to passion and the love for porridge, nobody beats the Teochews. Teochews can have porridge for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. In fact, any time of the day. Some older Teochews even say they would feel uncomfortable if they missed their daily servings of porridge. My parents, my grandmothers, you know, they used to eat porridge every morning. 一路来吃说，每次早出来就是说我们早上的时候，早上时候来吃的。Teochew porridge, the dishes are pretty easy to cook, and it's quite light. It's not heavy to the stomach. At first glance, there's nothing special about this quiet corner of Hadlock Road. But come lunchtime, this place comes alive as businessmen and young executives pull up in their gleaming Mercedes and Hondas. The reason for their presence? Dear Chu Mui, Madam Pang Oi Lin, the boss of King Nam Li, used to sell Hainanese curry rice with her husband. This couple of non-Dear Chu switched to selling porridge in 1990 when they saw how well their next-door neighbor was doing with his Dear Chu Mui. <laughs> 好像他传统下来，他的请那个潮州州的头头做啊。Business was so good, the Pangs have even taken over the store next door and expanded their business. How did they manage to do that? The credit must go to their loyal Teochew chef and his two assistants, who whip up more than 70 authentic Teochew dishes every day. So, which are the all-time favorites at this store? 一饼、蒸鱼、鸭肉、旗汉，还有那个导爆。Simplicity and authenticity; these are the elements that win the hearts of customers who long to have a simple home-cooked meal. Hey, what do frogs have to do with porridge? Don't hop away. Stay with us to find out.